What is going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So today then we're going to be looking at three seven figure Shopify dropshipping stores. So all these stores then are using the exact same business model as me and you. So they're sourcing products from China, from AliExpress and shipping them direct to their customer. And today then we're going to be kind of spying on them a little bit, looking at their homepage, looking at their product page, doing a bit of a review, um, finding out exactly what their best selling products are, finding out what theme they're using, what apps they're using. And we're going to be spying on them on Facebook as well. So we're going to be looking at the exact Facebook Facebook ads that they're running um, at this point in time as well. And then throughout the video, I've got a couple of little tools to show you, a couple of hacks, tips and tricks really, just to kind of guide you and help you when doing your own product research. So that being said, that's the top of the video. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it and let's get straight into it. What's going on there guys, welcome to my computer. So let's jump straight into that. And first of all, I wanna show you guys how I actually found these sites. So it's dead quick and easy to do. If you just search on Google for myip.ms space Shopify, then it will be the top result. It will take you to this page here. And basically what it is then is it's like a directory of absolutely every single website that's using Shopify. Um, just a couple of little quick tips and tricks to show you guys. So you can search for say dog for instance in there and it'll show you all the dog websites on Shopify. Um, but within a few minutes then I was able to find three really good sites that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video but just to kind of illustrate the size of these stores I'm on the second page here and the first one we're going to be looking at is this one here uh, shoppingnetwork.com um, but just to illustrate like how big these sites actually are on this same page is kyliecosmetics.com um, who was recently in the news last year uh, about doing something like 400 million dollars um, in our first year on Shopify which is absolutely crazy so that kind of illustrates then the size of these stores anything in like the top 200 um, is easily going to be pushing over seven figures a year so basically all I did then was scroll through them just looking at the domain names and pretty much just looking at the ones that sound like dropshipping stores ones that sound quite generic or kind of ones I've never heard of and like I said within a few minutes it didn't take very long at all um, I was able to find these three drop shipping stores here so the first one we're going to be looking at then is this shoppingnetwork.com um, I'm just going to kind of take you through and point out the things they're doing really well perhaps some things they could be doing better if there are those things and then we're going to be spying on them as well what their best selling products are and what their actual ads are on Facebook as well because obviously if we can find what products are selling well for these guys and how they're advertising then there's no reason why we can't go ahead and sell those same products and get similar results. So straight away then we can see they've got their free shipping bar at the top just to illustrate um, how much you have to spend in order to get free shipping. Uh, the color schemes are quite neutral blue, like pale blues are very endearing and good at building trust with your audience. If you Google the psychology of different colors, um, they do people do respond to different colors. So for example, when you you might walk around the high street or go in a department store and usually you'll see for sa uh, sale signs in bold red just because it's good at grabbing attention and it creates excitement within people if that makes sense. So scrolling down then it all looks as it should uh, for a store of this size doing the sort of numbers that they will be. Um, obviously it's going to be a pretty decent store so the layout's very good everything's really clean and crisp easy to read as you can see they've got the sales pop um, notification down in the bottom left hand side just to illustrate every time somebody's purchasing something or just to let people know these are good, these guys are genuine stores and if they buy something then they're not the only ones that's if you've been following the channel then you will notice uh, this product here and you will remember it it did feature in one of my product research videos um, a couple of little tips and tricks then to show you guys what you can do there's a couple of tools I like to use when looking at different sites and doing my product research um, number one is this tool here and if I just move myself down here out of the way it's called commerce inspector and it's 100% free to use as you can see there are certain elements it restricts unless you sign up for a paid um, a paid option but there's no need to to be honest you can get what you need out of it in the free version um, so number one it shows you what theme they're using so if you like a particular layout of a store you can just go search up that theme um, and use that exact theme one thing you'll notice with all these stores as well is that the th most of the, the majority of the themes or the more you do your research most people use free themes that's a big question I get asked is do you have to pay for a theme and the answer is no like the, th the free ones are more than adequate um, and then the other thing you can do as well is click on this best selling button and it's going to take us to their best selling product. So immediately we can see that these stores that are in like the top 200 of all stores on Shopify, exactly what their best selling products are. So we can go and find these products on AliExpress and sell them as well. So looking at the products then, they're all pretty generic. It's obvious that it's a general store. 
Again, that I've found that product before in AliExpress. It's featured in some of our product research videos, this one as well. Um, and just to prove it to you guys as well, if we scroll right to the bottom, I'm not sure why there's all this free space. Um, and we'll have a look at their shipping policy. So they've got a flat rate of 395. Now that's interesting because I, I usually, well, I always recommend to include free shipping with your products. Um, but these guys aren't unless you spend so much. Um, so shipping items can usually take three to 25 days. So there you go. That kind of proves the fact that uh, these guys are indeed drop shipping. It also mentions there in fact as well that they're shipped by e-packet. So there, it confirms which these guys are actually drop shipping from China, which is the same, exactly the same business model that we're using. Um, let's head back to their best sellers in fact and see if we can find um, their best selling products on AliExpress. While that loads up in fact, we'll get AliExpress open. So the original cat groomer, so they're selling it at $9. I wonder what it's gonna be on AliExpress. Let's try cat groomer, let's try that. Cat groover, it's not coming up. Let's try cat groomer brush. So I think that's the exact same product. Let's just double check. So it's like it's got like a cover on the back of it um, and some weird indents down the side. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the exact same product. And these guys are buying it at $1.41, probably even cheaper. Um, what some, for somebody like this who's selling probably hundreds if not thousands of these, they'll have a special relationship with a supplier where they'll be getting a discounted rate. So it wouldn't surprise me if these guys are buying it for a dollar. So you can see the kind of profit margins they're making. Like that's a defi decent, very decent profit margin. If you can get somebody to buy say two or three products, plus you're charging them shipping on top of that, then, uh, they're going to be making a healthy profit margin. So we'll see what products these guys are selling then. Let's have a quick look at them on Facebook um, and just see what their Facebook ads look like as well. Because like I said earlier, once we know what products are selling well for someone, what their sale price is, what they're buying it at, if we can see how they're advertising it as well, then there's absolutely no reason why we can't replicate the results that they're producing. So shoppingnetwork.com, shoppingnetwork.com. Uh, let's go four pages and I think that's the same logo and if you don't already know then if you look on this left hand column here you can click on info and ads and it's going to show us all the ads that these guys are currently running so we select the country so they're only running ads in the United States and they're not even advertising that product either they're advertising this bag here so that's one way then to kind of look at how people are succeeding or what kind of methods and products they're selling. One thing that I like to do as well is go back to their homepage because they've got a decent amount of likes and followers. So the chances are what, what I tend to do is once I have got a decent following on a page, then I like to test like ads before I actually pay for the traffic, if that makes sense. So probably what these guys are doing here, um, it's got 100,000 views. The chances are not many comps as well. So they've probably just posted this on their page, um, put it out there to kind of gauge and see what results they get from the people who are already following them. And if they get the good results, then pay for the traffic, if that makes sense. So one thing that you want to do is don't just base your findings on the engagement. You want to actually look at the comments as well. You want to see people commenting things like intent that they actually want to buy the product and there's actually um, a legitimate interest in there. They don't just see it as this gimmicky thing that they like the idea of. It's actually something they're gonna spend their money on. So if we just have a quick look through the comments, uh, just drink the beer quick enough and get warm. Dun, dun, dun. So there's not a lot there really showing intent to actually buy a oh, solid investment. So whether that means they're boring or not, I'm not sure, but I'm not going to bore you guys by looking through um, all these different comments. Uh, so here's another product that looks pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Actually, the step in socks, keeping your floors and carpets clean. And then there's a few more others there. So that's store number one then guys. I hope you guys are still watching. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, then please do leave a like and let's move on to number two. So the second store I wanna show you guys is bluecrate.com. I've featured them in a couple of past videos just purely because they seem to be absolutely smashing it at the moment. Um, and just to illustrate that fact, I've got another little tool to show you guys called Similar Web. Again, this add-on is free as well. Um, in fact, I'll put the links for these add-ons in the video description down below if you wanna download them. Um, and these guys give you a bit more information actually. They give you the estimated visits per month. So as you can see, 
on average they're getting over half a million visits per month um, it gives you a breakdown of the previous six months so as you can see uh three quarters of a million a million over three million in that month that must have been a crazy crazy month um one and a half million half a million and half a million so if you do the maths on that let's do some quick maths so let's just open up a calculator really quickly calculator so they were getting 500,000 views a month. If we say an average conversion rate of about, um, I usually average somewhere between kind of five and 9%. So let's say six, in fact, let's say 5%, let's lowball it. So we'll times that by 0 0.05. Um, so that's how many orders they're getting a month. If we say an average order value of, um, how much was a, let's have a look at the best selling products. So again, they're using Retina theme, which I believe is another free theme. Um, so they're selling some $10 socks. Let's say somebody buys two items. So let's say they spend $20. The chances are, well, they're still like this, um, doing the sort of numbers they are. I imagine it's a lot higher, but again, let's lowball it uh, times $20 equals half a million so they're doing about half a million a month roughly so as you can see uh, a very big store they're obviously doing something right um, and these are all generic products that you can find at aliexpress like this snore silencer um, many 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 people would say it was oversaturated the same for these animal paw socks as well um, but obviously these guys are doing something right and the interesting thing you'll find with these is if we have a look at these guys on facebook as well um, i think i'll link at the bottom they have is the way they advertise their products is very unique. They don't just use the same ad copy images or videos as everyone else. Um, I think it's the same group of people that produce the videos because I think they feature in the same videos, um, but they do it in a un their own unique way. And they actually show people having a good time using their products, which is just by far the best way to advertise any product. If you can show somebody using your product and having a good time, it creates that um, emotional connection with your audience um, which is just the easiest way to sell somebody to something uh, so as you can see they're still running ads for these for their top two best-selling products they must be selling they wouldn't keep spending money on ads if it weren't producing profitable results so another thing you can do is see what countries they're focusing on so they're focusing on the big four which is what I always recommend in my videos which is the top four English speaking countries United States um, Australia Canada and the UK um, and it's the same ads as well so the self stirring mug another kind of stereotypical dropshipping product but again um, they must be selling it well another thing I want to show you actually with, with this add-on um, is if you click on it and then click go it will take you to a page where it's going to give you more information about this site in terms of where their traffic comes from um, what's even in, even to the point of what social media platform so you can see again uh, what countries and exactly how they're driving their traffic so uh, so traffic by countries then clearly the US is their biggest market and if we scroll further down then it'll give us some more numbers like their traffic sources on their desktop um, where it comes from as well so you can see social is obviously a big thing direct um, and then we have referrals which is a tiny percentage of their traffic search this will be obviously things like Google etc and um, again another time percentage and if we have a look down at social the majority of the traffic then obviously comes on Facebook as it says here and these this YouTube traffic is probably from people like me doing videos on them because I believe um, quite a few of the youtubers have featured this site as well so that's site number two then moving on to the third and final site uh, which is this one here which is home and venture again another very large store um, doing a significant amount of turnover and if we just have a quick look at their products they're very general um, and kind of just like the stereotypical aliexpress drop shipping products um, that, that you'll see time and time again so if we just open up one of their product pages i've got another little hack uh, to show you guys that i think you will enjoy um, so when it comes to doing product pages or even just designing your store as a whole it's always good to base on someone who's already doing it well because then there's, it's like a sure-fired way that if you're getting people onto your store, then your store is going to be doing its job. So it pretty much eliminates the fact that your store can be a problem if you base it on somebody who's already getting results and already doing it well. And as you can see, like it's pretty basic. Like there's nothing special here, nothing that we can't replicate ourselves for free. Um, and then moving down, they've got related products, which is a great idea because 
somebody who if you're driving traffic direct to your product page they might not always want to go for that product but if they might see others for example in this related product section which catches their attention makes them spend more time on your site um, and you never know they might buy one of these more expensive products plus the original one they came to look at um, and then scrolling down they've got the reviews which is obviously imperative for any good site if you're going to convince anybody to buy from you um, and you being somebody that they've never heard of then the more reviews you can have the better and these by the looks of things have been imported from aliexpress now what i wanted to show you then this little hack was again it was this tool here and we can click on apps and it's going to show us the exact apps that this store is actually using and as we can see then there's not actually that many apps um, and if you want to know then what app this is then it's this one here it's the looks photo review so you can go ahead use this exact same app um, and start uploading reviews in this exact same way or generating reviews um, they've got the trackify pixel app they've got mixed panel they've got hot jar which basically um, creates heat maps of basically what people click on and where people go on your site and then the currency converter they use then is currency converter plus again another popular question i get asked all the time um, of what currency conversion should i use so if you like this style of this one then make sure you guys go and check this one out um, and then to finish off we'll have a quick look on their facebook page as well in fact let's have a quick look on instagram see if they're doing much over there because not many people do to be honest i see a lot of people focusing mainly on facebook which is fine but ultimately if you've got the time then why not be on both platforms if you can build up an organic following so say these guys had a million followers then i'm pretty sure all they would have to do is simply post out to their current followers a certain products and they'd be able to bring in sales so the bigger the organic following you can create then the easier it's going to bring organic sales and organic sales obviously there's no marketing cost so your your profit margin is going to be a lot higher um, and they haven't done a look by the look they haven't done a lot by the looks of things um, let's have a quick look at their facebook page so just scrolling down they don't seem to be advertising many products um, on their on their actual home page let's have a look at their info and ads so in the UK, they're advertising this one here. This is the current product they're pushing. In fact, that sparks, that actually reminds me, there was another little tip or hack I wanted to show you guys. And look at all these countries they're selling in. Bloody hell, pretty much every single country in the world almost. Let's just check out the US being another big market. Same product. So it looks like they're spending or they're just focusing on one product at a time. Um, and then the, the kind of hack, the extra hack I want to show you guys was if we click on this again, another thing that we can actually do, if you go ahead then and click on products, um, it's going to tell us what this store's recently launched products are. And this is huge because being such a large store, they're obviously going to be constantly on the product research, pushing different products. And it can be the beginning of a viral product. So if you can keep an, like, keep an eye on what these stores are doing, and as soon as a product starts to take off, jump on that bandwagon and start selling that same product um, and it's just a great way to pretty much scale very very quickly and obviously do really big numbers as well and as we can see then um, they've got that pillow in there or that memory phone and alignment leg pillow whatever it is uh, that they're advertising which is obviously a recent product they've added uh, that they're experimenting with so that being said then guys that, that pretty much wraps up the video um, i hope i haven't been talking for too long if you're still watching then thank you very much i really do appreciate the support um if you did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe then for i'm going to be aiming for probably five videos a week so if that is something that you want to see then obviously make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and that being said then guys i'm wrapping it up hope you enjoyed it i'll see you all in the next one